Hi, I'm Brian Smith. I am the associate head coach, passing game coordinator, and running backs coach, and we'll be entering my second season. Grew up in Thousand Oaks, California. Lived right next to Cal Lutheran University, which was the home for the Dallas Cowboys training camp, carrying helmets or shoulder pads for players. And my dad was a career physical education teacher and high school head wrestling coach. Two older brothers, a sister that's about six years older than me. Played in Thousand Oaks High School, was a three sport athlete, majority of my time there. Football, wrestling, baseball. A coach from the University of Hawaii was doing spring recruiting and they were still looking to fill their class for the fall of 1998. Pulled me out of like a history class. They ended up offering me a scholarship that night. So I was an offensive lineman. I was fortunate to play in all 49 games of my career there. I think the University of Hawaii was a great place for me. Growing up in Thousand Oaks is a very upper middle class, not very diverse area. You're going to one of the more diverse places in the world. I have great memories of guys like Kalana Noah and Manly Kanoa. And these are one of the things that you tell players is their experience through college. It's going to be the, the relationships with their teammates. And those are going to be the memories that stand with them through time. The, the touchdowns, the plays. You know, those start to, to fade and kind of blend together. My initial plan was to play in the NFL and was fortunate to sign with the Baltimore Ravens and then the following year with the Green Bay Packers. After playing the NFL, I had to finish school and was a student assistant at the University of Hawaii to finish my undergraduate degree. When I was a student assistant, I made a great relationship with Mouse Davis. One of my greatest mentors is Mike Cavanaugh. So he was my position coach in college and worked for him as a student assistant. I learned to have thick skin because <laughs> he's, he's tough on you. you know, how to coach someone hard, but also how to love them hard at the same time. That job at, at Hawaii led to being a graduate assistant at Cal Lutheran. And then that led to a graduate assistant job at Oregon State. I, I took a job at Portland State, coached the offensive line. Jerry Glanville got the head coaching job. It got me back into the run and shoot. Greg McMackin becomes the head coach at the University of Hawaii. He hired me to join his staff. That was for four years. I had a chance to win a WAC championship in 2010. Met my wife when I was coaching at the University of Hawaii. And we have one daughter together, a volleyball player and a dancer. So I spent a year at Cal Lutheran and then went to Occidental College to be the offensive coordinator. Doug Simonis got the head coaching job at Occidental College. Same coach that came to my high school my senior year and pulled me out of my history class to recruit me to come to the University of Hawaii. So from there, I went back to the University of Hawaii. Nick Rolovich was hired to be the head coach. We were teammates together. So after that, we had enough success that Rolo got a job at Washington State University. I was fortunate to join him there and continue as his offensive coordinator and associate head coach. Coach Alba and I started talking. A lot of what he talked about aligned with things that I believed. Part of my impact here was having a different approach to offense than what the staff had done. My background with the run and shoot offense, a great thing with the staff is how open they were to learning new things. So running back rooms are always interesting because you're only gonna play one at a time typically, can become very competitive. I think the culture within the room has been great. Everyone has roles. CA had a great season last year. What he did with his opportunity was he took it and ran with it. Runs hard, he's always finishing forward. He never seems tired when he's playing. The other guy to talk about would be O'Shawn. Missed what should have been his senior year due to injury. He's come back now, he is hungry. A new addition is Ricky Hunt. He was voted to the Unity Council as a freshman. Coaching, it's always a process. There's always a progression. I don't think that you ever or should ever feel like you've really arrived as a coach. I think being a life learner is important. I think you have to have different ways to approach how you talk, how you teach your players. I think when you develop trust with your players, they're gonna play a lot harder for you.